Hi, I'm Paul Huffaker with Race Source Incorporated, driver of the world famous Gravedigger Monster Truck. One of the other trucks on my team here, though, is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, and that's what I'm standing in front of here today. But I'd like to welcome MLC CAD Systems joining our team this year with some support with SolidWorks software and helping us um, technically working on it now. Trying to get ready to sign some drawing. Working on it here this afternoon, trying to get ready. We had a big show last night here in the Alamo Dome, and we're doing some repairs. We had a, we had a little bit of mishap last night, so we're working on things, getting it ready to go. But hey, I'd like to take you for a quick little tour around the truck, show you where our sports evolved to, where it came from. Uh, full tubular chassis, uh, purpose built to be a monster truck. Uh, we designed these things all in CAD and cut, build, notch every single piece to, to do what it is. The shock absorbers are 26 inch nitrogen charged oil based shocks just like you find on a high performance off-road race vehicle. The only thing is we've upsized these to handle the weight of a 10,000 pound monster truck flying 30 to 40 feet in the air. The rear end housings, again, custom built specifically for monster trucks. We run an outboard planetary on them. The housings are custom built. We, the steering cylinders are custom built for the application. Everything about them is very custom. Moving around the truck here, you can see it's a full tubular chassis. Four link suspension to help work with the 26 inch travel shocks. Driveline loop systems to help contain drive lines in case of a driveline failure. Moving on around here, what's the power plant for this beast? 540 cubic inches of blown injected alcohol big block Chevrolet. We're making about 1400 horsepower. The engine runs on methanol and they're nasty. Well, last night was a big night here in the Alamo Dome. My son Ryan Huffaker. Yeah, a little mishap though. He punched this thing up in the air pretty high, came down, landed on the back end really hard, tore up a few parts. So if you walk around here and you look, you'll see there's a lot of new pieces on this thing today. We have new steering cylinders, shafts in here. We've had to straighten out the steering mounts. Looking up in here, we've welded the housing back together to get her back together for today. We've got one of the Gravedigger four link bars over there, the silver bar, so we're um, this thing ought to run like a digger tonight. But a lot of new parts on here. We had a lot of damage that we sustained, but we're able to get everything back together and back on track. Ready to run again today.